Emotionally immature parents are especially likely to create the conditions in their relationship with their children that could lead to social anxiety. And that's because emotionally immature parents tend to be very judgmental and to evaluate or scrutinize uh, their children to kind of see how they're doing or how they're measuring up. Remember, emotionally immature parents are very insecure people themselves. And so they carry that over to their view of their child and they are looking at the child to make sure that they're not going to reflect badly on the parent. So with that kind of attention, or maybe I should say worried attention by the parent, the child can legitimately be concerned about how people are seeing them because they've actually had a parent who was doing that, who was watching them and who was evaluating how they were doing in an anxious way. So that emotional immaturity of needing the child to perform well or be well thought of in order for the parent's stock to go up, so to speak, that can lead the child to realize that they really are being scrutinized um, by that parent and that their success in this situation is going to please or displease their parent. And that can really get a, a social anxiety problem started. And it's coming from a real place. It's coming from really having experienced what it's like to have your parent scrutinize you and look at you in that evaluative way that makes you feel extremely self-conscious. So there's a very high likelihood that that child has experienced things in their upbringing that have made them feel uh, you know, under the microscope or judged or you know, kind of uh, given uh, humiliating feedback about their mistakes. Whatever it is that has happened has interacted with the neurology of that child and made it so that they're very afraid of being put in that position again. Now, we do have to wonder, though, uh, if there aren't some children, some people, who are extremely sensitized to social stimulation and really don't enjoy it. Um, you could have a child who is neurodivergent, and it wouldn't be necessarily that the parents had done anything to make that worse, but it might be that the child just didn't have the neurological wherewithal to uh, handle the stimulation and to feel comfortable. Uh, so we can hypothesize that there is a lot of childhood influence, but not say for sure that it's all that. Any parent who has more than one child will tell you that they're all so different and they come into the world different. That innate um, neurology of the child coupled with the sensitivity of the parent is the blend that really gives us a person who is comfortable in social situations or is extremely anxious.